On most things, both of these schools have decided to disagree. But today, they have agreed to bring their school rivalry for a very good cause, as we present to you the first PBA Ateneo LaSalle show. And they're using the players that are active playing in the PBA right now that come from the schools of LaSalle and Ateneo. Counting that you have probably about 15 players per team. There are 10 teams, 150 teams. LaSalle, Ateneo, right now, they're contributing about 17% of the players in the PBA. That just shows the kind of program that they have been doing over the years. Especially over the last couple of years as they have waged war in the UAAP. It's been a rivalry that's older than you and me, Dr. J. And people, our forefathers uh, perhaps decided that these two schools would just have this rivalry, which is similar to many rivalries throughout the world. Because the key to any sports league for it to be successful, I guess, is to have some kind of rivalry. Well, you know, the rivalry really is not only about athletics. It's more about the caliber of the school. And uh, we know that La Salle and Atelier are some of the best institutions of learning in the country. And, you know, sometimes you put it onto sports. You know, you cannot always slug it out on the... On, on the uh, so you have to go on the court. And basketball definitely is the most popular sport in our country. And that's why we have this very popular La Salle Ateneo rivalry. Absolutely. Just some bits and pieces. Since 19, 1986, that is, Ateneo and LaSalle have met 58 times, and LaSalle leads that rivalry 35 to 23. Ateneo and LaSalle have met for the championship five times, and the Green Archers have won uh, twice more. Yeah. And Ateneo leads, uh, well, they just won the last couple of uh, championships when they met each other, actually. Yeah, Ateneo has the better record when they do meet for the championship. Uh, but LaSalle has been uh, in the regular championship, especially in the latter parts of the, uh, two, in the 2000 decade. No? However, Ateneo, I think, embarked on a very nice program in 1999, recruiting players from their, college, from their high school ranks as well as from other uh, schools, and they were able to bring them up. And it's been a great uh, program, institutionalized by the alumni, and then, of course, supported by Mani Pangilinan. So Ateneo has been doing very well, while well, LaSalle has been winning championships. So obviously this is the more important thing right now. Okay, we more or less know the lineups of both squads. Ateneo will go with the core of the 2002 champion team. LaSalle has a combination of great shooters. They seem to have the edge on the front line as well. But let's take a look at the doctor's prescription. What does the doctor have in store for this particular game? Well, thank you, Seth. You know, number one for LaSalle, the important thing here is the talent that they have. You cannot erase the talent that they have. With guys like Mac Macardona, Ren Ren Ritualo, you have uh, Cortez, you have Aliado, you have Delan. They certainly are, a uh, Joseph Yo of the recent years, they certainly are the team that can really blow you off the court if you allow them to do that. The important thing here for La Salle is to have the pride. The pride to win a ball game such as this. This is an exhibition match. But definitely there is more than exhibition at stake here. What do you have here? You have a school rivalry. You have, you're carrying the colors, the green colors of LaSalle. You have beaten this team. You have won more championships than the other team. And you would not want to lose them on a one game that can probably haunt you all the way until next year. I guess so. Like Mark Talan never had a chance to win yeah. a championship with De La Salle simply because it was that kind of year, those years were UST kind of years. Now let's shift our attention to the Ateneo Blue Eagles. This is going to be interesting. Chot Ray is calling the shots for a team that basically was run by Joel Banal in 2002. Well, I think here the important thing is the chemistry. Except for Austin Lesera, all the 11 other players that are active in the PBA have one time or another played together, have been part of that 2002 championship, except of course for Magnum and Paulo, who both were injured at the time. But uh, every day they were there with that team. So there is much more chemistry with Rico Villanueva, Wesley Gonzalez, Larry Fonichier, L.A. Tenorio. All of these guys, even though some of them were younger at that time, they really know how to play with each other. And they know the number two, what Atreo has been noted for, their fighting heart. They may be underdogs in this game, as they probably will if they continue to play LaSalle over the years because of the talent but they certainly have the fighting heart to come on and play well. One quick question before we go into this first break. 
talent, this will be chemistry, which is going to give. This is an exhibition game. This is not the UAAP. I, I, like, we are sure about that. But what's going to give here? You know, I've never, I've been basketball many years, and talent is never enough to win a championship or a game. What's important here is the camaraderie, the willingness to win a ball game. I think coaching will also play a big uh, factor here. And both of these uh, coaches, I'm referring to John Yuchiko for La Salle and Chot Reyes for Atene, are very familiar with their players. So I think it's who executes better, who's got the bigger fighting heart. I don't see you for a couple of years. You'd never miss a beat, my friend. <laughs> Dr. J is going to be with us this afternoon. Courtside reporters will be Mark Molina for Ateneo, Ronnie Magsano for La Salle. It's a special presentation of ABS-CBN Sports, the first PBA Ateneo La Salle showdown. Evading big man and Tenorio all the way! Ten points as it's all. Turn up a pass and move. Five on the shot clock. The three-pointer, yes! Okay, gives it to Bonacher. Bonacher, the drive, forces up a shot. Watch Pupia inside. Instead, crosses over. Now gives it to Pupia. Baseline jumper is good. Yes, gives it to Aranya. The pass inside. Good ball. And then Tenorio with his head up. Takes the three-pointer. We are just uh, we are just moments away from the start of this game, and uh, I think the coaches are getting their final briefing from the referees as well as well as the captain balls. And that will be Mark Telan for uh, La Salle. And we'll have Olsen Rezella for uh, Atenea. I, I think Olsen wins just a bit when he was said uh, he was the senior Ladies season. And good afternoon and happy Easter from the Big Dome, the Atenea Coliseum, for the first PBA Atenea La Salle Showdown presented by Yakult. Let's meet the starters first for the PBA Ateneo Blue Eagles. At forward, number 15, Wesley Gonzalez. Forward, number 18, Doug Kramer. At center, number one, Rico Villanueva. Guard, number 33, Larry Fonacher. And at guard, number six, L.A. Tenorio. Head coach of the Blue Eagles, Chuck Reyes. We have the lineups. And now starting for the PBA De La Salle Green Archers. At forward number zero, Louis Wilson. Forward number 21, Don Aliado. Center number 34, Carlos Sharma. And guard number nine, Matt Cardona. And at guard number one, Mike Cortez. Done uh, by our uh, PBA officials, Mr. Pardo. Nice to see him. Uh, yeah, the governor for the uh, Pure Foods uh, Tender Juicy Hot Dogs, as well as uh, my compadre, oh. Tony Chua, the chairman of the PBA. And of course, I'm having uh, sports for ABS. Uh, and uh, we uh, would like to remind the you that the this opening quarter is brought to you by Smart Bank. Smart Bank. We would like to remind you that this opening quarter is brought to you by Smart Bank. We would like to remind you that this opening quarter is brought to you The guys in blue have first touch of the ball. Well, Tenorio getting off a pass to Larry Fonacher who connects on his first field goal of 10. You know, That's quick. Larry takes this game seriously, I tell yeah. you. Larry takes every game seriously. <laughs> I mean, Larry is the type of a play, uh, person and a player. No, uh, nothing is a fun for him. It's just all game. And Mac Mac trying to get it back with his famous hook. And of course, Fonacher had those two flops against Cardona in the 2-0-2 finals as the turnaround shot by Kramer does not work. 
if you look at the lineup put in by Chot Reyes, it's really a powerful lineup. Uh, while, uh, except for Cortez and Aliado and uh, uh, Cardona, you would say those are scorers, but Wilson and Charma are more of role players that are being used right here by uh, Coach John Uchiko. Wilgen together with Bonacher, top of the keyhole. Cardona is watching him. The pass inside deflected. Wilson is to me the X factor in this game as Cardona drives but does not make it. I don't think we'll also see the LaSalle press of all here today. Well, that's a difference because of the coaching style. And probably they did not have enough time to practice that. Uh, this project was uh, more or less completed about two weeks ago. Three point attempt here by uh, Ren Ren, uh, by, uh, I'm sorry, by uh, L.A. Tenorio reaming out. That's it. Uh, we're talking about Willie Wilson. There he is going on the fast break and sealing well. Mike Cortez getting the ball to him very quickly. You know, Dr. J, Wilson will hurt you uh, with yes. a few baskets, yeah. get a few rebounds, yes. make a few defensive stops. He'll do a little of everything. Yeah, that's right. Uh, Wilson is not a dominant player, but he's a very good player. He does a lot of things for his team. He likes, uh, oh, Sharma and William Eva get reacquainted. They were teammates on the Red Bull in your, in your team. That's right. But right now, you know, Sharma defending him well. Letting Rico go to his weak side. Just trying to push it up. Aliado, the shot from the outside does not work. L.A. Tenorio starting off for Chod Reyes. He's calling the shots for the guys in Blue Sam. It's Wesley Gonzalez. That's a very nice pick there. Oh, yes. Alam na, alam na, hindi ko bigyan ang pick ito mga ito. That's very poor defense on the part of the uh, archers, but the ball thrown in quick. Nice pass there. Cardona is struggling so far with his offensive game. The shot at the last moment, and from close range, Charma, no problem finishing off. That's one thing that he really doesn't have yet. You know. He likes to finish off with a jump off rather than really hitting hard against the ball. Time LA Tenorio goes to Villanueva, shops around, top of the keyhole, a little miscue on who goes where on the offensive set. Bit of a triangle, I suppose, and Chalk was trying to rub there. Uh, you know, the recipient of that pass should have been Kramer, and then maybe he would have the ball to the weak side, but he expected that ball to go straight to Larry for the share, and Larry was not expecting it. This is a nice matchup. There's Kramer against Sharma. That's very tough defense there by Doug Kramer. He had a good shot by Cardona. One out of three from the field for Mac Mac Cardona. Of course, Kramer did not see much action in 2002. Many players in front of him. Of course, he had that stellar season when Ateneo played against USD in 2006. Yeah, he and his team tossed together with Mac and Cardona. This is a nice jump shot that he has, but not getting it to roll here. And LaSalle again clearing defensive boards, pushing it up quickly. Cortez is very strong going to his left side. And that's a nice follow up there by Carlos Chama. No passing out done by the Ateneo players. The lineup really is not a strong uh, rebounding team. Rico and uh, Kramer will do their share, but they are small compared to LaSalle in the wing perimeter players. You know, the minute I saw the lineup, I said, wow, Dalo Atine in terms of the front line. Yeah, the lineup, they did not know. In the meantime, you know, this is a special game. Look at who's doing the uh, courtside reporting for De La Salle. Ronnie McSalloch will be our reporter for De La Salle. Take it away, Coach Ronnie. I was talking to Coach Jong Yuchiko a while ago. He specifically mentioned that it's going to be school spirit. That is going to be the key element in their game against their arch rivals, the Ateneo Blue Eagles. And taking a look at the entire line of La Salle today, they have at least 11 players winning one title or more, proving that this team is a very, very rich oriented team in terms of their winning tradition. And uh, of course, bannering this team will be four time champions, Renda Vitualo, Adonis Santa Maria, and uh, lastly, Willie Wilson. Back to you, Seven, Dr. J. Thank you very much, Ronnie. And that for trade update brought me, brought me rather, by Petron XCS with 95 octane fuel. Your drive, Wesley's on a hot streak here, yeah, Dr. Back, J. Back to back, three straight baskets for Wesley Gonzalez. Ball game tied at eight. All Mike Cortez missing a three point shot. This is what Kramer does very well defensive rebounding as well as offensive rebounding. Dr. J, in terms of the transition of the players from collegiate to professional, does their outside shooting improve? Oh, definitely, because first of all, at the time when they came in, most of them, the three-point shot was a little bit longer. That's oh. another good follow-up this time by Carlos Sharma having his way on the inside. And the other thing is, 
you know, when you're a professional, like school, you still have to study. You can only yeah, practice a certain number of times. As a professional, you can practice in the gym four hours if you want all your shooting, all you want. Now, Nico is strong there. That's traveling violation called against him. Let's see if I my referee's knowledge about the PBA. Is that referee Cruz? Okay, that's referee Boy Cruz. Boy Cruz, I got that. Take a look at this strong move here by uh, Aliado. Yeah, this brought brought to you by Petron XCS. Yeah, Get a power boost from 95 octane gasoline fuel. Great drive. That's my gasoline too. The other referees are Tonje Eldaba, and that is Peter Palau. That's an advantage that I have over you. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Oh, great move there by Mark Kalan. Good uh, pick and roll play. Kalan, I saw the other day at the Moro Lorenzo gym. I said, you have a nice tan. You're Madaya. Now, he's on the beach. He went to some palace now. And the balance is a couple of nice beaches as well. Happy Easter, everybody. Oh, absolutely. Hope you're back safe in Manila. And Rico has his work cut out for him. That should be gold then, yes. And that is gold then. Let's give you the score with 6 minutes and 12 remaining. 12 to 10. Of course, those of you who follow the PBA game, it's 12-minute quarters. Unlike in the collegiate or in the uh, the UAUP or the NCAA, it's 10-minute quarters. And there are five team fouls before you get into the penalty per quarter. A nice move there by Wilson, Wilson and he forces it. Gets his fourth point of the ball game. Willie Wilson giving Lasalle a four point lead. Even when he was playing for Lasalle, mm. magandang starter yung si Wilson. Eh. Saka, si nasabi ni Lab we na siya. But oh, they did oh. not complete that sweep. He could have been the only player to have won five straight championships oh, because well, he no. played five all four years. Great move there by LA Tonoria going to his right against. Mike Cortez. That's going to be a foul there called against Wesley Gonzalez holding a really good spot. Uh, the the nail is going to have a chance here. We'll uh, have to resort to his outside shooting. Jack Chia is on his way in. And we're on the way out. In the meantime, we'll be on the other side to Greg De La Salle. The PBA De La Salle players again by at least 534. Back with us here at the Big Dome, the Adonata Coliseum. And somebody who is now along the uh, sideline of Atenea. He used to do that job. Mark Molina, take it away. Thanks, Sev. Uh, Sean Playa started his huddle by saying that LaSalle has the better has the better players, the more experience, and the bigger front line in the lineup today. So Ateneo has to rely on his biggest advantage today, and that is their familiarity. 11 of the 12 players in Ateneo today, in, in the Ateneo's team today, are members of the 2002 UAAB champion team. Sean Playa's also uh, emphasize that defense will be the key today. If this turns out into an offensive game, Ateneo will not have a chance due to La Salle's, uh, a lot of scholars in La Salle's team like Cardona, Yo, and Vetualo. So defense will be the difference today for the Blue Eagles. Back Thank to you, Sam. Thank you very much, Mark Molina, for that courtside update brought to you by Petron XCS with 95 octane fuel your drive. You agree, Dr. J. That's yeah, the way. Definitely. That's, that's, that's exactly where we're going. what our game story was. And I'd like to remind everybody that Mark is a real alumnus of Ateneo. I'd like to say <laughs> hello to his father, Boy, who's my very good friend. On the other hand, you're running Magsana, and he has quarters. UP and at Sambay. Important, important. But uh, magaling na player at magaling na tao yan. Maganda rin yung kanyang anak. Kasi kaklase ng anak. Ah, okay, okay. Yung misis, wag isama na natin para, <laughs> para safe and safe tong araw na to. <laughs> I like to get around with Ron. Ron has been a real good friend through oh, this year. Oh, talagang, uh, ano yan eh. Kahit saan mo yung haggis yun eh. <laughs> Gusto mo mag-referee ngayon, mag-referee yun. Samantala, Escal, changes in the roster. And how important as this shot is connected from the outside. How do you divide playing time in a game like this? Well, you know, Chot knew exactly what he was going to do. He changed his backcourt quickly with Greg Chia and Escalona. Definitely a lot of the speed there. Now, you know, you thought Rich. I, I've worked with Rich. Uh, Rich just came off an operation on ACL. He just started a couple of weeks ago. And it's really improved his outside shooting. Rich is really, was really more of a guy that followed up and you know, got to the basket. But now he's really improved his outside shooting. That's what you were talking about, Willie Wilson. He can hustle even the youngest player. Absolutely. And earlier, L.A. Tenorio hit something from the outside. And L.A. Tenorio, this is what he has done proficiently through the years. Nice. Our, right, huh? Oh, yes, absolutely. Shaken play of the quarter, as you can see. It's got to be shaky. Set up yet. Samantala, this familiar move. From Aranya, these are the kinds of players France Fumarin has gotten through the years that have given them big minutes. Yeah, you know, Aranya is really one of the top players. And uh, even though I think he was picked early in the second round of the PBA draft, I think the first pick 
of the second round, something like, or the, maybe the second, third pick. He really is a very tough player. Now, Rico is the only one that Chod really has to push in this game because he does not have a lot of centers on his team. He has Rico, he has Doug Kramer, and that's it. Uh, now, Paulo is more of like a power forward, and he'll have to give some relief because of his height. It'll be matched up against uh, Mark Tillar, Paulo Villa. Now, I can say this because you're here. Here's Junjun Cabato. Sunny Cabato once approached me and said, Bakit ba ako nang ako na pag-iinitan mo? Eh, siyempre, mahal ka namin eh. Ganun lang kasi, Bill. Mas guwapo yung anak mo kaysa sa'yo eh. Pero wala nang takbo mo. Well, ito ang masasabi natin. Kasi nung nag-a-announce tayo dyan, siya paglalaro. Paglalaro si Junjun. Kaya hindi, ka namin, hindi namin siya pwede pag-iinitan dahil hindi na kami nag-a-announce nung panahon niya. <laughs> But he made the no, no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tani was a pretty good player. He's also oh. an MVP in the PBL before he went up to the PBA. So he can play now. In the meantime, Wilson attacks, and there could have been an arm collision courtesy of Wesley Gonzalez. Well, Wesley's a pretty good defender of people in the perimeter. That was a good fit by Willie Wilson. You know, he, he baited him, he was going to take an outside shot, and he drove hard to the basket. Team. So that first step really beat uh, Wesley's defense. Sorry, Dr. J. Yeah, Team right. fouls at the air with four. The Dallas Al PBA players have two. And we hope you've had a nice Sunday afternoon, lunch with the family. And uh, <laughs> Jong interesting how sometimes schools get intertwined. And I say this because Jong's son, Johan, once played yeah. for Atene. He was playing for Atene up to last year. Uh, he played at the also all of his years in grade school and high school. Uh, he's really a dominant player in high school, but really, uh, he's, he's a big fella. So he played like center when he was in high school. Oh, here comes Lasalle's version, present version of the press. Yo, who was at the forefront of that press, is in the ball game already. At the down with 19 seconds on their shot clock. Jack Chia fires one up. And he won't make it to Lasalle's grapple with the ball. What do you like about Aranya? He might be a two-guard small forward, but he can push up the ball, too. That's going to be an illegal pick call against Mark Delan. That's referee boy well, Cruz for making the call. The, senior, senior the, most, the most senior right now. Yeah, group, no? Yes, the most senior. And Ren Ren Ritualo coming in for Willie Wilson, who really gave a good account of himself. I'm going to kid all about this. Isn't number 14 retired already? In it the belongs to Lim and Bay. Yeah, he should be retired. I think he was the first uh, number to be retired by the Ano bang alam niyo kaya Ren Ren retired na rin eh sa Lasal but uh, ano itong uh, number ano ba number niya Dr. Jay sa Talk and Text? Do you remember? 33 at ayon oh, number 18 or 8 I don't know and Rich Alvarez has another basket so he's got 5 in the game right now Yo he's so hard to stop when he gets that bit of space Well one thing you have to do is you have to take the charge Maki alone at Escalona was right in front of him but he kept on backing up giving him space and Yo is just going to go right through you you know you to Watch Joseph Yo all through these years. Can you ban Malit Palang, Dr. Jay? Yes, uh, especially in Savior. Can you ban Malit Palang? Can you ban Malit Palang? Can you ban Malit Palang? But uh, Joseph has really improved his game. He's much, much more improved there, right? He's better than he gets also. He's part of the Santa Lucia champion yeah. team. And he's last lucky month. for him. He was able to move into another team. He's going to have to slip the ass. But you know, Retualo, he can kill you with those outside shots when it hurts the most. Kabatu with a fine curl to the basket. Well, you're talking about the LaSalle forward lineup, and that's just powerful there. That's what you got right there. Kabatu, Aliado, Telat. Three-point shot here by uh, Intal. So he has five points in the ball game also right now. JC Intal showing Air 21. He deserves a little bit more playing time. Maybe this could be a confidence uh, oh, yes. for him, a game for him. Oh, give and go. Almost. Oh, sayang. Sayang yung play niya para sa green and white. Well, kala na na Ali Oop play already, but he didn't finish it all. Absolutely. We'll take this short break, and we'll be on that uh, other side of the break. It is the Blue Eagles ahead by two. You've got a good-sized crowd on hand to pitch in, and, of course, you've got to remember that it's got to be shakies. And it's a good cause that the players are uh, coming together for more than anything else, more than the rivalry. It's really for the players' foundation. And uh, let's take a look at this one. Uh, we had this move earlier with KFC. It's finger licking good. It's really licking finger licking good. Look at this. Very nice with their catching uh, Rich Alvarez by surprise. Jake Jake here with a three-point shot. A little bit off. Dismissed two outside shots. But he's back on defense quickly. Match up against Ritualo. 
Vet Chia, one of those interesting uh, feel-good stories, intramural player for the spot. Yeah, you know, and then uh, a chance to be here one day, off and on in the professional league. But right now, he's with a new team, actually. You know, uh, Air 21 had to let him go. And, uh, a lot of teams are very interesting. I think he's now with Talk and Text with John Mayer, actually. I think, uh, I yeah. think it was who told me, but mga outside shooters usually still always have a chance to find a spot in any team, as this guy will find a spot in any team. Were you were just talking about outside shooter and how prophetic your words were. Yeah. He is the main gunner, I still think, for De La Salle. Now, Paulus had problems with that footwork of his, trying to back in, but he has improved vastly, and he's... Just one of those players that uh, a lot of people thought he would not have a PBA career, but finally showed everybody that they were wrong. Take another look at this Pure Foods 3. Oh, yes, Pure Foods standard juicy cheese dog, fresh nut, cheesy pack. Kabatu. And Richie in foul called against Alvarez, so Kabatu will go to the free throw line. Kabatu's a very tough player. He's 6'4", built very well. That's an outside shot. And he can get to the basket. He also knows how to operate with his back towards the basket. So it's a very difficult uh, matchup for any player unless you play him regularly so you can defend against what you know is his best foot. Rosal now enjoying a two-point lead, 26-24. 31.8 seconds left. You know what's so interesting is I've covered these guys since they were in freshman college and suddenly they mature as men and they have bigger bodies now. They work yeah. on their bodies yeah. as they become professional players because they, they have to bang against bigger guys in yeah. the PBA. That's what, yeah, they do a lot of workouts. They go to the gym, uh, build their muscles. But two more offensive plays coming up for us. Open shot for Maki a little bit long. Got to make a stop here. Let's start trying to look for yes. the point here. The Nails outside shooting, deserting them as Red Red Ritual, this is where he is deadliest. He was for a foul, but Chia is just all over him. Good pass inside the line, two seconds remaining. One point shot, Lasalle will not have the final save, but will be on top by three. Let's take a look at our high performer of the quarter, and he is Wesley Gonzalez, who more or less got the game going for, for Ateneo, and Lasalle had a solution for him quickly on. He had six points there, he had three baskets in a row, and really got them back into the ball. Okay, our first quarter is done with, and we shall take a look at some of the big moments of that uh, opening quarter. Oh, some familiar moves from the players, don't you Yeah, that was Mark McCurgan after missing two shots, giving him a nice roll. Hard, strong drive. Uh, we have Carlos Sharma with a great follow-up. He's also improved his game because he's gone into player metrics and lost a lot of weight. More great action coming your way from the Big Dome in the special presentation of the PBA Ateneo La Salle battle. It's De La Salle by three. Second quarter underway, brought to you by Smart Buddy Sim of Fitex and memory at the signal to Matinde 55 long. And you know, both sides running up and down, running up and down. Uh, much ado about nothing, Dr. Jack. Well, Ateneo is struggling with its outside shot. They are getting the open shots. Uh, they are being able to move the ball better, like I said, because of their familiarity with each other. Also, and Rosella are seeing action for the first time for Ateneo, but they're just not making the shot. Well, LaSalle definitely could have done that with a bigger lead, if not for their turnovers. They've committed a number of turnovers, so we'll have to check that with the statistics as they come in from the uh, table officials. 2001, it was Red Ren Ritualo who created the comeback for De La Salle Ateneo ahead at halftime here in this very venue to take that championship for the green and white. Great pass by Ritualo. Under the basket we go, and he loves that part of the sea. But he was called for a time. Oh, Zaya. He moved left. He had no shot. There was an umbrella-like defense. He went the other way, and it was the same thing. Dr. J, you cover the NBA All-Star Games. Is the trend the same? They will go with the players that will win for them the ball game in the fourth quarter, try to get rid of, get done with the playing well, time angle. Definitely, there's more intensity here than uh, in the uh, NBA All-Stars, except for this year. We can see that, you know, there is pride in this school, and these people that come here to watch and probably are watching at home, they're, they're not going to be happy with just an ordinary game. Uh -huh. They want a hard yes. game. You know. That means something. In the meantime, Mental, who hit a basket earlier, here's Villanueva, teaming up with Rara. 
you know? I liked it when he went to Red Bull and he suddenly had this move as we send it over to Mark Molina on the Ateneo corner. Thanks, Eva. Coach Chot Reyes uh, mentioned that we are having problems with the 2-3 zone of Lazal right now because we are just moving the ball around the perimeter and we are, we are not sending cutters inside or flashes from the big men. So he reminded these guys we need to have a lot of cuts against the 2-3 zone of the De La Salle team to be successful against it. Back to you, Seb. I'm going to ask Mark later how it feels to be back on the sideline of Ateneo, actually. And that was brought to you by Patron XCS with 95 octane fuel your drive. They had a drive earlier to break that zone, actually. That's right. 27 all right now as Rico splits his charity. Three-point shot miss from the outside there. Magnum Mordbrell is seeing action for the first time. I don't have the numbers, but this was one of the shortcomings of the Villanueva game. Has he improved in his free throw shooting? Nope. <laughs> okay, that's what he is. Very <laughs> factually. Well, you know, there are days Rico can be good. He's just like Shaq. <laughs> <laughs> there are days when he's good. There are days that he, and that's great hustle there done by Rico, but they couldn't save the ball. Everybody hustling there, and here comes Rara. This is what you want, you know. That the players are showing that they want to win the game. That means a lot more than just an ordinary game. Rich Alvarez with another long one. Ateneo has had a lot of shots. Their field goal percentage must be very poor in this match. Rosella was a backup guard in the 87 88 teams of Ateneo. In the meantime, here's the outside. Oh, it's an inside attack by Yo, Yo, Yo! His ability to glide, you know, in the air, really. Ang hot, ang tagal ng hang time. As our friend Butch Maniego would say. You know, pare, hang time is actually how long it takes for you before you go down. Okay. We wish Butch well all the time. Pare. And let's send it now to Ronnie Magsano. While Ateneos, Ponacher misses this from the outside. Ronnie, take it away. At the end of the first quarter, coach Jong Chico opting to use 10 of his 12-man lineup already. But here in the second quarter, he wants his players to have a change of defense, not only relying on their 2-3 zone, but likewise setting down to a man-to-man -man defense. Ganyan ka seryoso si coach Jong in trying to get this victory for his alma mater, the De La Salle Green Archers. Back to you, Seb and Dr. J. Seryoso ang excess and O's natin this afternoon, mga coaches and mga courtside reporter natin, ha? Oh, oh. side update brought to you by Patron XCS with 95 out and fuel your drive. That's a good foul by Larry Fonashir, a smart foul. Lasella has the momentum. Joseph has been bringing it strong to the basket. And there's a, that's a good foul because they're not in penalty. He just forced them to make an inbound. Ronnie Magsanok is sitting in his familiar spot when he is coaching in Pure Foods. Yeah, that man. is his spot. <laughs> that is the cheerleader spot <laughs> for the Pure Foods. Pure Foods DJ hot dogs. Some statistics that we did. Well, finally we have that. They uh, rebound 20 to 9. Like I said, this is one weakness that Ateneo has to solve. Clear, no dandruff, less careful. They've got two kinds. Uh, I use the careful decrease clear version. In the meantime, there's a foul off the pass of Enrico Villanueva. You know, why did Rico hold his face after that foul? Because he should have thrown it out. He heard the whistle, but he decided to throw it out. He threw it up to the basket. He had a chance for a possible three-point play or two free throws. Sharma picking up another foul, but that's number three now on him. I think that's one of the lessons that collegiate players who step into the pro leagues learn very quickly. That Rico Villanueva can pass up all day long, but it was a pro and it was a pro. That's one thing that you like about him. He really got a, a great fighting heart and a spirit, you know, because when he sees this team is down, he just doesn't want to let them go down. He's really forcing the action here. Cortez missing that, but another good foul out. Sharma really has played well. He's got seven in the ball game right now. The only thing hounding him is got three personal fouls. Going back to Villanueva, he was the one who fired that three-point shot that gave the ball game for the blue side uh, about one and two years ago. Yeah, we did that. Magnum Embraer hitting a three-point shot, and that is his favorite spot. He can hit that shot. This is another interesting story in terms of having a pro career. Magnum was actually preparing his taking. He's trying to complete an MA in communication, actually. It's been very at high points. He never thought he'd move ahead in the PBA, but he got a chance and took advantage of it. Uh, he's playing for my team. Oh, yes. Uh, by the way, from Mr. JD. Five uh, straight points here for Magnum and Brere and Sharma. Oh, look at this. 
maganda yung laro ng players, ha? lumalabas yung laro, pinawisan na talaga. Alam mo, yan ang gusto, gusto ni Cortez. Eh. When you put the pressure on him, that's when Cortez really shows what he can do. Yeah, Cortez, that's the type of player he is. Rifling a three-point shot, Ponacier thought about it, no chance to shoot. Here comes Pugui up against Sharma. Pugui is trapped. They go outside now. Nice pass. pass. Oh, what a pass by Membrera. He has made things happen coming off the bench. Yeah, he has scored five points, one assist. Really hounded uh, Joseph Yo on the other end. Cortez, back-to-back three-point shots. No, no, sir. And there's going to be a loose ball foul on Sharma. That's going to be number four. And are we going to have six fouls? Yeah, yes. we have six oh, PBA. Yes. Oh, 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 oh. In the meantime, here is another look at that. Pure Foods 3 of Magnum Embrera. Pure Foods Standard Juicy Cheese Dog Fresh Mat TC5. And the Cortex version on the other side of the floor. We'll take a short break. We're tied uh, for the sixth time in the ball game. Back in a moment. Some guests, some people we have covered in the past. Jojo Lastimos, of course, Aldi Rio Lubit. Oh, I miss Alvin Teng. And, uh, of course, uh, Mayor Raimundo, a familiar face during when we were at the Ultra a yeah. couple of years back. And, of course, uh, the Daddy manager. Spirit, Daddy Spirito, no? Oh, Ito yeah. ang si Johan. Yan ang anak ni... Coach Jong Uchiko-san. And we're tied for the sixth time at 36. Ateneo has decided to attack the basket because their outside shooting was nowhere in sight. Yeah, you know, yeah. those are low percentage shots, whatever you say. You know. We'll try to put the ball into the trench instead of that high percentage that what Delan is doing here. Delan was swimming in the air actually there, huh? And uh, let's take a look at this shaky, shaking play of the quarter. If we may, how many times have we seen this familiar move? Yan ba matagal nang ginagawa ni yeah. Joseph? Yan yan ang move niya, ha? Huh? And it's just definitely gotta be shaped. Yeah, it's a great block by Magnum Membrere, a small man. Paolo yeah, trailing. You know, Paolo really is a guy that plays better face up. He really cannot back down people because he does not have the power. But he has to finish stronger because that was a great assist pass there by L.A. Tenorio. Ito, inaabot eh. Uh, inaabot, inaabot. Well, nasundot pala ni Wesley. Sabay uh, dumadating pa si Magnum sa tulong. Paolo missing that first free throw. Both teams are tied at 36 all. Six Five start. minutes and 12 seconds left in the second quarter. Sorry, uh, Pac. Oh, kasi masarap to. Yung KFC. Uh, 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 Dibia misses two free throws. Hindi na gumalaw yung score natin. Ha? 36 all. Magkatagal-tagal na. Good job there by the Prairie, but nobody can pick up the ball. Oh, but I like this lineup of De La Salle. This is a scoring lineup, actually. In the meantime, Matinea takes it away. Here's L.A. Tinoria looking left, looking right. Nowhere to go. Chops around. Goes over to Wesley. The pass inside. Dog Bremer. Yes. Learn through the years to catch the ball better, Dr. J. Look at Magnum. Magnum just really... The out player of the day, <laughs> at least for the first time, huh? I mean, he just come up with a big impact for the team. Oh, congratulations. Uh, uh, Nagulohan. Uh, Nagulohan. Up, up, up step and jump ang ginawa doon ni uh, Mac Maca doon. Natawa to rin si Coach Jong. Mugia will step out momentarily and Enrique is back in the ball game. We're uh, observing and following PBA rules, in, in fact, even in terms of the time, 12-minute quarters. One, one thing that we have allowed in the PBA is, of course, we have allowed people to show so that has taken a lot away. It's a good call again because they're not in the penalty, making sure Cortez has no momentum to get on the back stay. That's where De La Salle is deadliest, when they start attacking. La well, Salle has been known for its fast-breaking type of game, and they have players that can really finish off on a fast break situation. Team foul situation. Ateneo Blue Eagles with three, while De La Salle PBA has 14 fouls in the second period. Aliado in the ball game. Retualo finishes off at the last moment. Ren Ren thwarted. And here come the Blue Eagles. Here's Wesley. Wesley, jam. He wants something. Can't get it. Well, that is not too good because he's going to easily kick it out the end they could have moved the ball around for a better shot. You know, Will Wilson has this nice dense of Washington smile. <laughs> Malay or otherwise, but uh, he's just a joy to watch. As we watch it, Rico Villanueva missed that shot. Follow up by Doug Kramer. Dog up, up, and in. And finally, somebody got the basket. <laughs> I mean, we were... 
I know we were nailed to the cross. But that should have been last Friday. Yeah. <laughs> 36 all, you know. And Today's the resurrection day of our Lord. Absolutely. Lead changes. This is the eighth lead change as Wilson. Nice pass. Oh. LaSalle's attacking inside. They know they have the height advantage, actually. And they have the kind of players that can really make drop off passes. Cortez, Leo, Cardona. They can drive. They can force the defense to react. And Magnum asking uh, relief from his coach. Maybe he's not accustomed to playing at that speed and that long. And Larry Fonichero has come back to the game for him. Gets a nice tap from uh, Chot Reyes as Ritwala shoots straight and true. Now that's a very tough shot. That takes a kind of great player to make that kind of shot. But the defense is right in front of his face. So from the middle side of L.A. Tenorio setting up the play for the blue and white. Here's Wesley Gonzalez. Whoop! Now, wala yung eye contact between Larry and Nanay and Diko. And we'll take this break. 39-38. De La Salle is back in front. 2.57 to go. Back in a moment. This is the first PBA at the De La Salle showdown. Of course, Mr. Rene Pardo of Pure Foods. The juicy oh yes, I've worked with his wife, so valuable coverage. Naman namin. He's, an, he's an assistant coach with the top of the team. And Maricar De Mesa. Asawa ni Don Aliado. hindi ko nakuli. Tony Chua, ang aking kapare. Chairman of the PBA. And Nash Rosella. Working as an assistant for Chot. Yan ang regular team ni Chot eh, no? Yes. Pleasure to have you on board, Chef Sarmenta and Dr. J. I haven't said that in a long, long time. It's a pleasure. I'm really grateful for the people that attended here, and uh, hopefully in the future, if uh, there should be such things as this, uh, we can get a better crowd. I understand it's Easter Sunday, and of course, I also know that the name there on the exam week is yet again. Yes, I'm not going to Yeah, uh, that's going to be an offensive foul called. Oh, that's the ball on number 41. Going they give it to Don Aliado, actually, his first of the ball game. Does it count as a team foul now? Uh, offensive foul now. In the meantime, Villanueva. Oh, what a good move there. Everybody thought he was going to pass to the guy that was setting up at the corner, but he came up with a reverse layup. Then up on Maradana, and then up. Esquinita. Turn around, Jack Aliado. There is a foul called against Doc Ringer. I really like the way he defends people that the most. Ball number 18, Doc Ringer. Yes, they give that to Doc Ringer. Take a second look at his power move. Part brought to you by Petron XCL. Get a power boost in 95 octane gasoline. Fuel your drive. You can even fly in the air like Rico Villanueva. You know, Rico is funny. He's right handed, but he finishes better with the left hand. That was not his strong side. They defended him well. They let him go to his right side. So he had to improvise to come up with a difficult shot. He's right-handed, but he goes stronger to his left, and he finishes better with his left hand around the basket. Sometimes people have both oh, well, strong working hands. Eh. Like Atoiko, no? Yeah, he's yeah, he's kaliwa magsulat yan, eh. ah, yes, but he shoots right-handed. He's ambidextrous, really. You know? There are people like that, but kanya-kanya yan, eh. kanya-kanyang idiosyncrasies yan. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. Ang remaining po, time po natin ay two minutes. Tabla na naman po ang ball game natin sa 47th deadlock. Enrico can get it to go, and Aliado yanks it away, but not for long, and but it's on the turf of Lasalle. One minute and three, one minute and 48 now. Look at the way they're hunting Cortez. Because they all know it stems from Cortez, and Lasalle nearly botching the play, eight seconds of the shot clock. Retualo, Lasalle still has it, Cortez close range. Oh, can't get it to go. Delon will nail it. Turned out to be a blessing in disguise. It could be a possible three-point play for Mark Talan. Well, the domination of the boards the being displayed here by the Green Archers. Bonus free throw for Mark Talan. Uh, uh, alumni in homecoming ng dalawang skwela. Hanito, alubasado na naman. A uh, lot of friends of ours on both sides of the floor. Families. I see Derek Fritz Infante. I haven't seen him for a while. But, you know, he's a true... He grabbed Lasal like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, high school with Direct. Hey, uh, Lasal. Uh, that was a college at the day. Uh, yeah. It's one of those interesting. Uh, Pretty bad. It was Bobo. Yeah, Bobo. 
Si Waki lang naman ang diretso din eh. Gaya mo yan, Dr. J. Diretso nga si Waki. Dito. Ricky Palo, diretso din. Kalaro daw niya si Waki from Palilipin pa sila. 66 pa yun sa high school. 66 sila. Oh, ang good block. In the meantime, Wilson goes over to Cortez. A minute and, yes, a minute to go. That's a big mismatch. Cortez throws it to Tela, but there was a switch off. Aliado bumped in the air by Kramer. That's a hard foul there. Kramer wasn't going to give it no easy layups now. See, Kramer, when he began to get some playing times at the end, just developed his confidence, collected his third foul, and this is... Take a, a second look at that foul with KFC. It's finger looking good, but I'm sure Aliado will feel better if these two free throws drop in. Free throw shooter, which other is coming back into the ball game or Doc Kramer. Tal hasn't come back into the ball game. He had also a spurt there where he completed within five straight points. And we haven't seen Jake Chi also come back into the ball game. We just heard those guys at the, the open door in their locker room. They were just like a high school reunion coming yeah. together again, you know? They did have one practice, though. I don't know how many attended. No, I think they had a clear practice. It's going to be a blocking. Oh, offensive, offensive. Offensive foul called against, uh, he might be on Rico Villanueva for setting an illegal pick. Where do I sense a pick and roll coming up now as Jung Chico makes no, this? No, no, wait. Wait, wait. Which foul is that? No, it, it looked like it might be on Aliado. 41 kasi yung sinasabi. Was it Because the hand signal was, first of all, confusing. Yeah. The hand signal kasi was the offensive movement. Eh. Yeah, that's right. And the other referees. Well, Bala is not, a, he's not a rookie referee, but he's just been in the league for a couple of years. I think maybe three or four right now. That's a strong move there by LA, but well challenged by uh, Cortez. And Kelan finishing it off with a slight deflection. In the meantime, LA tried to sneak in from behind. 30 seconds remaining. Lasal by four. There's Aliado peeking inside. Nowhere to go. Wilson and Tonashir are waltzing. There's 10 uh, seconds. Oh, it's a more brain. He played it wrong. He's not going to beat Rich from the outside. He's a pretty good perimeter defender. Now, what he should do is take Rich to the post and then work him from that area. He tried to beat Rich, trying to dribble around Rich. Rich is not going to let you do that. He's a good defender. He's a rich type of player. Yeah, he's a good player. Because he stick very close to you, but he's got good lateral movement. Last shot time coming up here for Ateneo. Larry's in trouble. Good block there by Aliado. You can see that he was in trouble. He got down too deep. Nowhere to go on this trip. And at the end of the first 24 minutes of action, we find the PBA LaSalle side ahead by four. Some highlights and our Grand Matador High performer of the quarter. Just a scintillating move. And he is Enrico Villanueva, Tuloy Ang Init. We'll take a short break here, but to have some, a bit from the halftime for the bus, and uh, we're going to break down this first half. But first, Ronnie McSannox is going to talk with John Wichick of Dallas Al. Coach Jong, your team is up by four points. I see a slight smile on your face after that first half. Key elements for your team heading into the second half. Um, we have, we've got to be wary of our individual defense because though we're bigger, they're quicker than us, so kailangan mag-improve yung perimeter defense namin so that we don't get broken down on defense. Um, we've got to control the boards and give them one shot so we can take advantage of the mismatches. Last question, Coach. You've played 10 players so far. Santa Maria and Jerry Aquino haven't seen action yet. Magamitin mo sila na sa kailan. But what do we expect from Lasal come the last half? Uh, same lang. We're all... No, we're all having fun. We're all having fun here. That's this game's for the um, players' uh, trust fund. We're all having fun. Um, so we'll just enjoy the game. Everybody's going to get to play and enjoy the game. Thanks, coach. Good luck in the second half. Back to you, Seb. Sa kanagita ng courtside reporter mo, hindi pa with two and those coach, you know, sila dala ng guy. Pero ito ito yung magagandang moments ng first half, Doctor Joe. That's right. Good move there by Joseph Yo, the ninja. We have Rico Villanero with a very tough jump hook. He does like to go to that area. And then Ren Ren Ripwalo, the rain man, raining it down. Over your move, Dr. J. 
And we'll talk more about this first half and so much more. De La Salle with a four-point lead back in a moment here. Short while there they are. I'm not surprised Gonzalez is in second spot. The Intal absence in the second quarter was very obvious. Well, Intalia had five straight points and Magnum also had five straight points. Rico led them with nine. He had a lot of attempts, missed a couple of free throws. Carlos Schama did well, but he's in foul trouble. He has seven points. Joseph Yo and Ren Ren Tualo with six. Ren Ren had two three-point shots. Aliado had five. Mac Mac misses shots early, but then got himself back into the ball game. Even out talaga ng Atene is somewhere they're shooting from the outside. And just quickly before we get into the doctor's diagnosis, we're going to listen to Vincent Reyes. Chot Reyes is with Mark Molina. We're here with Ateneo coach uh, Chot Reyes. Uh, coach Chot, uh, Lasal out muscled you and out rebounded you 35 17 in the first half. What, how do you stop this uh, bigger Lasal front line? Well, first of all, we anticipate that they have a, a, a bigger front line than we have. That's why uh, we just have to work on being able to deny them good post position in the second half. And we just need to get everybody uh, gang rebounding also in the second half. 35-17 uh, on the board is not going to get it done for this game. How does it feel to coach another Ateneo local game? Well, it's always, uh, it's always an experience. It's always uh, exciting. And I always maintain that uh, every time I can get to coach my alma mater, it's always a privilege. Thank you, Coach Shot. Uh, back to you, uh, Seven Andy. Okay, and two former Ateneo coaches chatting there. In the meantime, are those flowers for me? No, they're not. Okay, we take a look at the doctor's diagnosis. You had a couple of recommendations in the first that at the start of this ball game, Dr. J. Well, I thought LaSalle did a very good job at trying to want to win the ball game right away. And they showed that their talent, they maximized on their talent. Oh, they no certainly question. have yes. the scoring edge. They also have the big man edge, and they maximize on their rebounding. Now to continue to do that at the pace that Ateneo wants, I still think they have to do a better job at uh, stopping those perimeter shots because if those teams start to fall, they're going to have a lot of problems. Now on the part of Ateneo, I thought they made a lot of turnovers on easy things. You know, Rico and Larry played like wanted to play together, but then there were a lot of miscommunications, sometimes not being able to make shots underneath the basket. They're going to have to be, do, be a little bit tougher when they get to the boards. Parang nawala yung eye contact ni Kona Sheretz. I mean, he did several wow. times. And yeah. I thought uh, Larry, you know, Larry, I like to talk to him a lot about his game. I thought he tried to force up a lot of shots where he needed to give off a pass and move on to a better position. I thought that uh, Chot Reyes could do it better if you put Larry and Intal together because Intal will be able to drive in and Larry can then now position himself to get better shots. Intal is a guy that can take the ball to the basket and can dish off you if you want. Evidence of Ateneo's chemistry as a team is very uh, evident in that first step. We had some moments with players who had grown accustomed together. Of course, you all know that Membere and Bugia were not around to play that year that Ateneo won the championship. Yeah. In the meantime, Mac Mac is in business. Now, Sharma is back on the floor, but he will be playing with four personal fouls. That's review Masters on the floor. Aliado, Cortez, Wilson, Cardona, and Sharma, the lineup for De La Salle. On the uh, blue side of the floor, Folacher, Villanueva, together with Tenorio, Wesley Gonzalez. And who will complete the fight? Rich Alvarez. Rich Alvarez. In a way, if you look at the Ateneo lineup, that's the strongest offensive lineup that they can put on the floor. In the meantime, the quarter brought to you by Smart Buddy Sim on free texts and memory at and signal. Pinakamatinde, 55 na lang. Cheap text. That's a cheap one. Oh, oh. Cheap. Gonzalez trying to bring it close to the basket. Then we are 30 seconds into the third quarter, which LaSalle leads by four. Like I said, I felt this team that they have on the floor, the Blue, the Blue Eagles, uh, they're a team that really can score. And I think uh, they got a lot of potential uh, going to the basket, try to force some fouls. They also have to make some free throws because they were given 11 free throws in the first half. They only made seven. LaSalle only had, uh, Atene only had four free throws given them, making only one of free throws. So has got to get some scores off the free throw line. Can't live by outside shots alone. Cortez trying to break down Tenorio's knee. There's a shake and bake. Aliano will pull up from 15. Got it to go. Yeah, the 
Lewis got seven points in the ball game right now. He also has two personal fouls. So he and Sharma are leading the South in scoring right now. Gusto ko kay Algado when you move him to the Lewis is that his outside shooting is so immensely. He's got great balance. If you take a look at his shot, he's got a nice jump shot from the corner and also from the free throw line. He's got good balance and nice form. He finishes off well. Dr. J. Aliado now with his third personal foul. Close range pass and Ponacher on the receiving end. Well, they tried to bait them. Uh, there's a quick move there by Cardona. Uh, Larry, there's no time to cheer. They're just 14 and Cardona missed that shot. Some of the guys who went to high school, uh, Saldanea, they played this matchup uh, for the longest time. Same thing with the guys from De La Salle. Mi Paya, Mi Prada, and uh, all those uh, leagues that happen almost, uh, especially during summer. So a lot of basketball. And then Rico did what he does best. He likes to spin to his left. He pulls up on the left side of the floor for the two two minutes, but then he always come back to the left because he's stronger boy than But he's got to do a job on his free throw line because oh, it is miserable. And we see Adonis Santa Maria seeing action for the first time as Aliado has to be lifted. I have always believed that if you have a body like that, you have a right to be called Adonis Santa Maria. Just a nice young man. I think he was uh, one of the early draftees of the former Shell team. Uh, that's right, also. he was, yeah. And you know, he's, he's an undersized player, and that's a great move there by Cardona, but throwing the ball away. Yeah, John Nuchika is not even in the right uniform this afternoon. He told me they were going to get him some shirts. <laughs> well, he, he can shoot, me, huh? Yeah. He can shoot. This guy, remember in our league yeah, yeah. In, the, in the PBA? Yeah. This guy can kill you. By the way, Dominic Pui is the assistant coach this afternoon for uh, John Nuchika. Free throws again for Rico Villanueva. Nice one by Larry. Adonis Santa Maria coming from the weak side to help. Just had to give up the foul. You'd rather Rico shooting free throw shots than give him a layup underneath the basket. There was a game we covered uh, when I was with another network. I think we were in Bohol. Uh, I think at Tagilad and uh, we were even eight at the... Uh, Senator Herrera's house after, remember? And yeah, he was yeah. shooting a lot of free throws so well. Yeah, yeah. He won that game. Yeah, yeah. We played the last game. I remember that. And we won that. It's a long journey. I remember that. In the meantime, Wilson, he can take it from there. But here's Cortez. Cool cat. Charma says, aha, gotcha. Spin. Do they call it? No, they call it a block. Now, um, an extension of the foul. Of his foot, rather. A late call, but the right call. There was banging in between. I didn't, I didn't think he ever could establish his position. If Charm had been caught for that, I would have been his fifth. No. Yeah, na patingin siya to sa referee. Sabi ni Rico, ako, yes, it is. It is his second personal foul. Blue and white's second team foul. Here's Sharma straight. Not true, though. Uh, the ball is snapped. Makapal si Rich Alvarez. The loose ball foul yan sa PBA. A good established position there by Santa Maria for the offensive board. He's about half an inch taller than Alvarez, and he got good position on him. Rich tried to come over his back. Alvarez collecting his second personal foul. The Blue Eagles have three team fouls in the third quarter. Great pass inside to Santa Maria. Can't finish. Sharma can't also, and Alvarez trying to clear the horizon. But we'll give a foul here. Obviously, uh, Rich went in the defensive rebound, and Santa Maria tried to smack the ball away from him. I haven't seen Malou in a long time. I'm yep. Neri. Yes. <laughs> Most nothing again, yeah. No. <laughs> she didn't even hear me. That's all right. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> Reminds you of the PBL 1990, yeah. Huh? <laughs> in the meantime, and of course, you were commissioner at that time uh, in the PBL. Well, a traveling by, uh, by, uh, violation they're called against Rico. Tried to throw the ball up into the air, hit nothing, then tried to pick it up again. We're watching the first Ateneo, PBA Ateneo LaSalle showdown for the benefit of the Players Trust Fund. In the meantime, Sharma's getting something going. He's played well, nine points so far, although he is playing with some uh, handicap in terms of fouls. He has four. That is not going to rim in and short stab on the follow by Villanueva. 
But Rico's just too strong for Adonis Santa Santamaria, and he's taller than he is, you know, so he gets good position and him easy follow-up. Two centers really playing well for the team. Don't give that zona that, that baseline, he'll just burn you there. If I were match up, I wouldn't put Larry on uh, Cardona. I think he'll have a hard time with the speed of Cardona. I would put Wesley on Cardona. And then uh, let Larry play with Wilson, who's more of a role player. Good point. In the meantime, Denoya tries one from McQuarr. Won't make it with Alvarez with a chance to recycle the offense. Gonzalez looking inside. Here's Wesley, doesn't force the issue. Plenty, Plenty of time. time. Plenty Plenty of time. time. You, can see. you and I reading each other's and finishing each other's sentences. Wanna share pops? Pass. Somebody's open. Nobody came back. That's uh, LA's fault. You don't go in. You're the safety man. You have to come back. And look at that. Brandishing his green and white uniform was really Wilson. He's looking Enrico because he's going to Enrico in the I I think it has helped also that Sharma and Villanueva became teammates also, you know? You know, yeah. that those guys, when they, when they were playing for each other's schools, really had yeah. some great battles. Oh, oh. Oh, Santa Maria, kiss of Butterfingers. And Wilson does not force the issue. Wilson then make the shot, Santa Maria, yes! And the dominance, the edge of La Salle on the boards, getting clearer and clearer. And we'll take a sh quick look at this. Clear, fast break. Oh, absolutely clear on this one. No dandruff, less hair fall, nothing wrong with this one. Wilson finishing this, we'll take the short break back in a moment with 7.37 to go. Back with us here at the Big Dome for the first PBA at the Nevis South Showdown. It is De La Salle again, 54 to 48, with 10 remaining in third, 7 and 14. Ateneo okay. juggling his lineup, Dr. J. Yeah, well, they have to get some fresh players on the floor. And again, good position <laughs> there by Sharma. Leading the Green Archers with 11 points in this ball game and playing with four personal fouls. He just burned Paolo Puglia, who he was chatting. He didn't know si he si, si Paolo uh, before that play, but just a fine move by Sharma. Here's JC Intel back in the ball game. Here's Fonacher. Rosella, oh, mali ang pick. Mali ang pick ni Olsen. Oh, that's the foul on number 17, Olsen Rosella, his first. An offensive foul called there as you take a look at uh, Tony Chu, eh? Yes, yes sir. And his wife, Marisa. Yes. He, si Tony, actually closer to his brother, because Steve, who had a team before in the Philippine Basketball League, magkasama sila na, before magkiyak yung uh, uh, grupo nila, patungo ng uh, Philippine Basketball Association. Uh -huh. And uh, can I go into the zone right now? But that zone is broken up, and he's wearing his headband. He plays uh, better that way. Oh, oh. Sal now taking a 10 point lead. With no response inside from the Blue Eagles. They're outside shooting, nowhere inside as well. Downstairs we go. Bugia with a gentle hook. Great position there uh, established by uh, Bugia. And he did not rush the shot. He fails when he tries to rush the shot. He comes up with some very awkward looking shots. Ronnie Maxanok from his favorite spot on the floor. How does it feel wearing an, uh, uh, wearing your suit instead of your usual Pure Foods uniform, my friend? <laughs> of course, it's something new to be said, but the challenge is always a challenge, and I enjoy every challenge I face. Now for De La Salle, Carlos Sharma has always played behind the shadows of his more illustrious teammates, but today he has played the biggest part for De La Salle in trying to contain the Raging Bull, their biggest problem in this game so far. 11 total points for Carlos Sharma, and has proven to be the biggest thorn the side ng Ateneo Blue Eagles. But one slight, uh, one light point dito, Sef, Dr. J. Without the headband, Mac Macardona was only limited to four points. After the headband, you'll find him more spirited and more active in the level of play for De La Salle. Back to you, Sef and Dr. J. So what is the deeper meaning of that headband? That there's something magical about this? Yeah, I guess be. so, I guess so. Kasi magsanok talaga, binibiro lang doon sa ano, sineryoso naman. Life is a challenge. Napaka-deeper meaning ng life ang binigay sa akin. Talaga, oh, basketball. In the meantime, and this fast break brought to you by Clear. No dandruff, less hair fall. This is what Ateneo probably prepared for. And this is where La Salle is deadliest when it's open court basketball. Well, they play good defense, force you to miss, get the defensive rebound, and they got, then they're ready. They got a lot of good finishers on that team. Cardona, Cortez, Joseph Bio, those guys can finish. Ryan Aranya, they can finish very well. And Rendon Ritualo can hit you. 
on a fast break three point attempt. You know, those things really hurt another team because they have no defense to that. Dr. J, aside from the silent Ateneo, ano mga malalaking population ng players uh, sa liga? You were talking about the percentage of players from different schools coming sa pros. What do you think is the next best pair para after the Lasal Ateneo? Well, if you miss what we said earlier, there are 24... Uh, well, let's take a look at that. Oh, in the meantime, this is Gabriel Reyes, six years old. And he's our... This is our Griffith fan bike. And he got Dr. J, paborito mo. Hindi tayo binibigyan. <laughs> Pure fruits that are juicy yeah. cheese, dog fresh, not cheesy. But you were saying? Well, there are 24 players right now uh, from these two teams that are active. And like I said, if you take 15 to a team, because you may have reserves, so that's about 17% uh, of the uh, total PBA population. The trend has a couple of good players on the, on the PBA right now, led by Kirby Raimundo. Marami na rin but Willie Miller. No? So, marami rin sila. It should be an interesting matchup also. The midterm red wallow, that will not work. Moses got to put a little semblance to his game for uh, the Blue Eagles. Magnum and Burr is back in there, together with Vital. Vital can play with his backhand there, yeah, he can also play. That's a push there by Doug Kramer. That's going to be an offensive foul. Sayan Yon. They had a good follow-up, but he had to push against Santa Maria, who just knows how to position himself. And Mark Molina will give us an update about the Blue Eagles. They're falling behind by 9, 4.15 to go. Mark, what's up there? A couple of things that Chot Reyes uh, emphasized in that last timeout. Number one is rebounding. Too many second chance points for LaSalle. Ten in the first, ten in the first half, a few more here in the third quarter. The second thing, while they have forced 15 turnovers against LaSalle, they only have eight turnover points, so they're not taking advantage of those opportunities to score off the turnovers of LaSalle. Back to you, Seven Andy. Well done, Mark Molina. And that was a courtside update brought to you by Petro Next Yes with 95 octane fuel. Your drive. Break away! There was a slap across the face, I think. Well, Magnum had a chance for a three-point play. He's always been an impact player for the team so far in, in his stint here. Jake has been the one that has not come back into the ball game. Watch this uh, KFC look back. Oh, nice crossover move. One hand. Uh, that's uh, finger looking good. Uh, that's really good, although Magnum misses the first free throw because he's more noted to be an outside shooter. He's a three-point shooter. Joseph Yeo is also there on the bench. Great season so far for him in the PBA. Yes. I think I think some of those guys who were rookies during the time when the Silo Villanueva and the others were okay, we're back to being freshmen again. We're back to being young. You can uh, take care of the playing time. I think uh Jung Yuchigo put it perfectly that they're here for the fun as well as the Twalo wiggles open. He hasn't nailed it really. Gonzalez with the referee running as a screen. Of course the referee is part of the court. And the referee was really trying to get out of the way because there was no way that Gonzalez was able to go to his right. So he had to come back to the left and let the referee get out of the way. But he was fouled going to the basket. Ateneo's got his share of uh, free throws being given down here in the second, in the third quarter, but they have not capitalized on their free throw shots. Nice to see Romy Guevara again, you know. I haven't uh, chatted basketball with this guy for a long, long time. Well, Romy is back uh, as a technical oh, uh, consultant for uh, Sunny Barrios. Uh, they worked together in the previous years, and he needed uh, Sunny needed somebody. So he asked Romy to come out of retirement and help him out. He's doing a good job. Here's Ryan Arani. He likes to operate in that spot. Curls towards the basket while swatted away. Delan, he tries to escalate, but he is hammered. Altelan just too big for them. He's 6'7". They're playing against a 6'4", 6'3", and a 6'1". You know, once, once, I can say this on the air. When, when he was still, when I was still in the PBA, this guy was, this long guy was in the spa. And I said, who is this guy? Morning, sir. Good afternoon, sir. I'm lolly Moses in Mark Delan. In the meantime, free throws being, get, beginning to be a problem. Shama really playing so well and congratulated by both of his coaches as we see Don Aliado come back into the ball game. These guys are just doing so great with the power moves actually and the power moves brought to you by Petronex. He has got a power boost with 95 octane gasoline. Just fuel your drive. Well, you know what it means to have 95% octane. Hey Joe, US standard. Oh, that's a force on you. Oh, <laughs> 
Rosella with a triple. Rara nails it. Now they need that. You can see that the people on the bench, like Larry and Rico, and even Mackie were clapping for also. They, they need somebody to get them back into the ball. Mo na ni Gawang Kuya dyan. There's the lad. It is very 70s hairdo, I must say. And then the basket swatted away by Gonzalez. Yeah. Olsen. Rara. Indal. Just missed it. Ball up. Yes! Ano maganda talaga decision making ni Olsen. Eh? He tried to go to Indal, who he knows is a big finisher at 6 3. But he missed. But there is Kramer running side by side with him. And the lead has been cut down to three. And now the cheers come from the crowd. Those who are in blue suddenly oh. spring to life, and those in green are jumping up again. Alam mo kasi walang banda dito yung Ateneo, kaya hindi natin naririnig yung talagang uh -huh. pagpagising nila eh. And of course, because marami na yung mga astudyante na naaaral yung parte. And Ateneo final steps in uh, starting tomorrow, actually. Olsen Rasela! May batok pa siya sa ulo, but he's coming back quick. He was looking for the foul, but he's a veteran. The referees make no call, you come back. But those who know their NCAA UAAP history, there were not too many drums before. Just shouting over there at Rizal Memorial, they would shake the rafters. Delon steps into the chat a little while. Aranya says, hello! Refs allowing them to play! And finally, a foul called on Gonzalez. Delon just establishing his mastery underneath the basket. Finally, maybe a three-point play. Take a look at this three-point shot, courtesy of, you might call him the senior citizen, but he's still very much there. Pure food standard, juicy cheese dog, fresh not cheesy pie. We take this short break, a minute and 35 remaining. Belan unable to score on the bonus free throw. Also, Gacela approached us and he was saying he's getting too old for this. I don't think so. Yeah, no, I'd like to say that, but then he's not sure. <laughs> That's a way of rubbing it in. <laughs> That's a nice move there by Wesley. Ooh, Good good block. Nice block. Terrific block there by Mark Delan. Oh, assist by Intalto Aliado, unfortunately, for Ateneo. But not enough people coming back. Olsen was probably asking. JC, offensive foul. Just completely out of control there on the part of JC. We're going to take a look at our Barcada here. It, if we can. Yes, they're having fun. Oh boy, DSM Blue Masarap. Maki Halo, Maki Barcada. This is Nelson, Rolini, Gial, Ray, and Gian. Lots of A's in those names, huh? The Sal fan. And just below that, you saw that man with the. That was the father of Wesley Gonzalez. Oh. He's on that side. Why he's just behind their bench. Actually, they weren't so strict about who sits on which side uh, this uh, afternoon. Eh? Uh, I, uh, I, they don't make a I don't know what to great pass by Magno. And uh, Intal will go to the free throw line. He was trying to dunk oh, that with his two hands, but uh, Telan wasn't going to give him that. You could get those free throws. I ain't giving uh, look at this. Uh, shaky, shaky, shaky play on the corner. But Galit, Tarsan, Galit, Galit. It's got to be shaky, definitely. And Intal nails the gift shot. I was about to say that it was a rare occasion that I see Nash coaching uh, and his brother is there. Of course, they've had, I think, that in San Miguel, probably. Of course, Nash also had stints uh, of being a head coach as well. With, uh, what's this? Sambeda also. Yeah. Oh, that's it, Franky. They're down by six. We all tried to increase the lead, unable to nail it. Still a really strong force on the floor for De La Salle. Can you imagine when T.Y. Tang comes in? Well, that's maybe if we can continue this, we'll have different lineups. And Ford Arrow can come in for Ateneo. That'll give them some height. Oh, and yeah. right, in the meantime, look at the hour. Turnovers. De La Salle with 16. Ateneo with 11. Clear, no dandruff. Less hair for all. Isolation play now. Huh? It should make for 
a good fourth quarter, Dr. J. The intensity definitely there. This game is just waxing hot. Living up to its advanced building, huh? And the PBA De La Salle, green white side is ahead by six. They were ahead at the end of the first half by four, and they're enjoying themselves. Will there be a blue and white response? Let's see in the second in the final quarter the high performer performance uh, level of the quarter coming from uh, I think uh, Don, Don Aliado. Good performance actually. And Tuluyan in it ng ating laro. Third quarter gems. Ito. Villanueva was there, but this was Cardona just breaking yeah. up the deck. He just killed Larry there going to the baseline and then the easy 200 dunk there for uh, Willie Wilson. And look at that, brandishing off his t-shirt. <laughs> this is where I am, this is who I am. Six point lead by the green and white. Back in a moment for the final push. Okay, back with us here. Uh, also, Ms. Ellen aiming at three, Dr. J, and Charmer was called for his fifth personal foul on the other end. Good defense by Rico, establishing his position, his position and forcing Carlo to knock him down. So he's got that offensive foul called against Charmer. I'd just like to remind you that this fourth quarter is brought to you by Smart Body Sim. But in the meantime, quarter scoring. Uh, this is what happened so far. LaSalle on scoring at the in every quarter. Every quarter. And then we have a three-point shot there by Joseph Hill to establish a six-point lead again for the crowd. Every time Ateneo has an antidote, there's a response from uh, De La Salle to put out the fire, actually. Here's Gonzalez in the corner. Zips it over to Kramer. Give and go is anticipated by Aliado. Olsen was trying to break up the play, and a foul given up by Membrere against Joseph Hill. Uh, Good foul again because it stops a four on two situation there for the uh, De La Salle Green Archers. And a Afonashir being tapped to come in, probably come in for Membrere. We also have Rich Alvarez about to come in for uh, Rich Alvarez for It is in a Sabi Montira ni Joseph Yo, the Pure Foods 3, Pure Foods Tender Juicy Cheese Dog, Fresh Nut Cheesy Pa. And a great response by Joseph, who can be quite a ninja. You know that. Uy, nahuli ni Rich Alvarez. Nakita mo adjustment dito ni Coach Joe Pichito. He took out Cortez and he made Yo play point guard position with Aranya playing two guard. Aranya is also a guy who can handle the ball. So he made that adjustment. Gonzalez taking it strong. We'll have a three-point play coming up. In terms of the difference between the college game and the pro game, the match mismatches, how different it is the same? Well, as you said, college games. and different kind of zones. They can come up with that during the game. And I think the speed game, uh, because of the uh, age factor, is uh, better in college. Now, the problem with college is they have a tendency to commit a lot of more turnovers. They also take some bad shots because of their eagerness uh, for more well for uh, the team. While the professional players take better shots, and they're more mature in the way that they move. So that move by Gonzalez, okay, I've seen finger licking. Good move, here's Wilson with a gentle hook that bangs against the glass. And he's laughing, he's laughing because he knew he got a good break off the glass on that jump hook of his. Me and Gonzalez are talking it out. I knew it that Wilson would do something like this. Seven, eight, he has nine points in the back right now. Here's Gonzalez trying to dazzle Wilson with the dribble. No avail. The curl by Villanueva who's trapped. Forces is up again. Three people open the top of the perimeter, actually. Well, when Rico goes to the right, well, he really cannot really pass really off really unless really it's really to his right. Really because he's not going to be able to pass really off because really he's using really the, really the strong hand. And that's why he's forced to make his move right away. Getting some boost there from the LaSalle crowd and continues to struggle from the free throw line. Whoever right now, four out of seven from the line. And that's just terrible because they need those free throws. They're down by eight right now. Still a lot of time left in this ball game, over nine minutes. And Ciarana is the one bringing up the ball. Wilson peeks inside. Gonzalez tried to hold his ground. Sharma wide open. Last shot, no bite. Rebound controlled by L.A. Tenorio. Zips it over now to Larry. Stops on a dime. Pulls up. Nine. Nothing but that. But they needed that kind of basket from Larry. Let him get some of his confidence back in the game. Because 
he was certainly missing his outside shots earlier. Jess Villanueva switching over. Maraña is tied up. Maraña didn't really didn't see much of Villanueva in the UAAP, actually. Three second violation oh, wow. called against Mark Gallant, parking in the paint. Dharma, Jake, that he was going to take a shot, tried to make the dribble, and Mark couldn't get out of the lane. That always happens in a Bacala Motitira. So take a look at this KFC instant replay. Monex Shea stopped neatly there and netting it. Finger looking good. Well, a uh, fast break doesn't always mean a layup. That means this is good as well. Is this a good shot? Rico trying to go glass, trying to go front. I don't know. Uh, you talk about uh, shooting a jump shot. Oh, oh. up, up. Yeah, that was a hard foul. Yep. Man. And if Mark Molina is ready, let's send it over to him. Mark? Chuck Reyes told his players that while we, while they want to establish Enrico Villanueva in the low post, he must not be the only option. He wants the other players to have a lot of movement when Rico gets that ball. And he also specifically mentioned Larry Fodashera and Wesley Gonzalez to be aggressive on the offensive end because he needs other players to score for the Ateneo Blue Eagles. Back to you, Sam. And exactly what happened in that last play, uh, uh, Dr. J, and, uh, in that courtside update brought to you by Patron XCS with 95 octane fuel, your drive is the fact that major naivety in the venue had described it in an naivety of an strong hand. Blue Eagles take this time out. We'll take this short break, but uh, we'll be right back with 818 of the fourth. <laughs> that little girl too cute you know she's a future courtside reporter it's got to be shaky it's no question about it then i see val soto we haven't seen val soto on the television uh, much lately and um well can we get all of them all of them big maru and sagasi Look at that, Sobra, uh, Sobra, 54 to 31. And that's clear, no dandruff, less careful. You know that they're doing a better job now. They need some that will really help them. See, EY naman sa Lasal certainly will help in the point guard position. As if the uh, Lasal bench needed any more point guards, we have one more for you, although he went to UP. That's Ronnie Maksanov with this report. <laughs> <laughs> if there's any weakness in the lineup of the De La Salle Archers, it has to be the point guard position. Simply because Mike Cortez is the only real point guard for De La Salle. However, Coach John Chico smartly has fielded in Joseph Yo and Ryan Aranya to man the backward position for De La Salle. The result, it's still an 8 point lead for De La Salle heading down the stretch. And let's see if this good dress allocated for Mike Cortez will be enough to propel La Salle to this all-important victory by the Archers over the Ateneo Blue Eagles. So, malayo pa yan, uh, and anything can still happen in this match. In that courtside update brought to you by Patron XCS, 95 octane fuel of your drive. La Salle alumni are, I'm sure you're pleased with the way Ronnie McSanoff is reporting from your side of the floor. You can offer him a scholarship if you like uh, for his MA. Uh, Give his daughter a scholarship. Oh, you know. oh, oh, he has a daughter going to school. He summer. only has daughters. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> many, BBA, <laughs> many former PBA players have nothing but daughters, you know. I pray for uh, Rod. Uh, that's still good defense. Yeah. He was preventing Mike from going to really try to get that position to be able to pass off to a teammate. Now, Ateneo has cut that lead down to only four. It's a lot of time, seven minutes and 18 seconds left. LA was a rookie in 2001 when he came up across Red Red Tuvalu and Cortez in the finals of 2001. Sharma missing. Follow up by the hook. And that's one thing you like about Mike. It was just like Ronnie, like Johnny Abadeo. They can rebound for their size. The point guards, they can get rebounds. They follow the flight of the ball. 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 They follow but he's not shooting them with conviction. He's not shooting them with conviction. He's not shooting them with conviction. He's not shooting them with Joseph flying with no passport. He's on the ground. From a share. Scooped it over to LA. LA on the run. LA. Will they call it as an offensive foul? They will call it they an will. offensive foul on, uh, on, uh, on LA Gennaro. Oh, that's the ball. Number six, LA Gennaro. Referee Cruz has really been strict with the ball. Because in a game like this, 
you can really let that go to have that uh, energy uh -huh. to have the uh -huh. game or the flow of the game just allowed it to go on. Uh, but he, he made a call, which is the right call anyway. Jinjin Kabatu is in the ball game, uh, and you? Tell us Ali Fred, 78-72, time remaining 6 and 22. It was a very special presentation on Studio 23. In the meantime, LA, the trailer is... There's a foul. It's going to be a man for this. You know the story. But the TV, these two were supposed to be just traded recently for each other. Between two clubs. The Magnolia Club and the Alaska Club. Now, I don't know if the papers have been finished. Yeah, that's why uh, they, uh, until that time, they were staying with their... Yeah. their, their uh, 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 and uh, that's why even the announcers couldn't couldn't say where they came from. <laughs> what, sure, what club they sure. are. Baka magkagulo nga naman. You saw that in the KFC finger looking play. Tenorio knocks in some free throws, something that has been missing in the blue and white game this afternoon. Well, Tenor is a good free throw shooter. Larry is also a good free throw shooter. But the guy that usually gets fouled is Rico, who is not a good free throw shooter. Kabatu is too far away from the basket. Aquino, first time on the floor, actually, huh? Time. Another foul called on Rico Villanueva. He tried to reach in. There would have been uh, probably no call if there was no damage coming out of that play for Carlos Sharma. Sharma has been playing with five personal fouls, but he's still in the game. That's a great move by Cortez. Villanueva tried to snap it away. Five on the shot clock. That's good defense, switching and everything. But Yo creates. Oh! What a basket. <laughs> Ninja discovery <laughs> on how to score basket under pressure. Oh, yeah. <laughs> One second on the shot clock. And Tenorius is out at the other end, won't work. Here he is, Billy Weber with the left handed stab. Being at the right place at the right time certainly helps a player. That was Rico. Never giving up on that rebound play. Rich Alvarez is really putting a lot of pressure. That's what you like about it. As you say, Dr. J, Malayu, Beto, 5.15 remaining. It's a four-point game. Aquino under the basket. And again, he created that play. Joseph Yo, because of his penetration, got all the defensive players looking at him. And then a nice dish off at the very end. Under five minutes to go. Tenorio launches. Yes! Now he's beginning to take over with his offensive game. And this guy, when he turns around, he'll be more interesting, I tell you. No, don't turn around. <laughs> Stay there. <laughs> the attack. Yes! And Villanueva is the lone big man. And he couldn't foul. Yes. He's, yes. he's already in foul trouble. He didn't want to give up a foul at this stage. Game is still far away. That's going to be a foul of Cabato holding on to Rich Alvarez. Let's count the team fouls. Each side has been called for four. And with this foul of Cabato, it will be their 15th foul. And we'll step out for a moment to give us all an opportunity to use a timeout. Back in a moment. Back with the series, L.A. Tenorio's delivery of a Pure Food Stray, Pure Food Standard Juicy Cheese Dog Fresh. Ah, cheesy pop. And they needed that. Yeah, they certainly need it. They certainly need this offensive game to come into the fore. Now, the all called the timeout, made some substitutions. Uh, Mac Mac Cardona coming in for Joseph Yo, who played a very good game. Certainly, it's going to be hard to pick a... Uh, uh, what we call it, what is the best player in the game. He's a player. He's a player. He's a player. He's a player. Let's see if we can win. We're going to win. We're going to win. Oh, and this is a shaken... Play of the quarter presented, of course, by Shakey's. It's got to be Shakey's. Well, Larry got trapped again, tried to dish off, but he had two last lights in front of him. And then Juju Kabata throws the ball away on the other end. And let's quickly go to Mark Molina, who's with uh, Chairman Tony Chua, and uh, they've got something interesting to tell us. Mark? We're here with PBA uh, Chairman uh, Mr. Tony Chua. We just want to, want, want to ask Mr. Chua, why did the PBA come up with this uh, benefit uh, match between Ateneo and Lasal? Well, actually, we have a uh, call it daily, I mean, every year that we have a call all star. And I think it's about time we have to additional more on this kind of event. Because, uh, players want to. 
That's why we come out with this idea, and hopefully by next year, we would come out more to help the, play, uh, the PBA players. That's all. Okay, thank you, Mr. Chua. There you have it, uh, uh, the benefit for the players fund, and that's the reason behind this Ateneo La Salle game. Uh, back to yourself. Thank you very much, Mark. And I, I think it was in the papers that uh, our friends uh, Fritz Gaston, Joel Banal, availed of uh, educational benefits as well. And there are other benefits to be availed of the yeah, fund. Look at that block. Fritz went to 3 a.m. That's a great move there by Rico. Uh, he made two free throws at the right time, came up with a good block shot, and made another layup. So, you know, it's a one-point affair. Cardona, L.A. almost had a hand on it. Four tests, four three. Oh, not quite. Rebound contested with the Nueva. And Bonacher says, let's take it easy. Chance for the Blue Eagles to grab the upper hand. Plenty of timeouts left for both teams. Shot clock is down to 15 right now. They can go play. There's Villanueva. He's, he's tired. Oh, yes. Maybe almost the entire second half. Gonzalez digs in, just couldn't find it properly. Well, he, he stopped. He should have gone straight to the board. Huh? Ooh, but this almost, almost, almost down. Down. Yeah. Yeah. And he was able to hold his ground there. And uh, twice. That's it. Game cha cha Nabato unsure of what kind of screen to provide. He's down the middle. Here's the open Cortez. Oh, in and out. Well, Rico start. They need a timeout. The coach is going to ask for a 30-second timeout. I see. And this is the major difference. One of the major differences between the pro and the amateur game. They can't call a 30. So we're going to check a power move by Enrico Villanueva, who is, as you said, suckered out. Brought to you by Petronax CS. Get a power boost with 95 octane gas in fuel your drive. He just came up with some big baskets. He came up with two free throws after being really miserable from the free throw line. Good shot block, and then finishing off the other end with that Petron power move. Now this game, no matter what it this always happens this year. This game, these two schools, nothing at stake. And you can go through history to the different games these two sides have played. I've been watching this since the 60s. Boy, uh, they just claw at each other. I look at 2007, Ateneo beat La Salle 87-7 over time. Then Ateneo beat La Salle 89-87. Then La Salle beats Ateneo 70-68 for the playoff for second spot. Then Ateneo comes back and beats La Salle 65-64. And then La Salle wins that final game to go to the finals, eventually the championship 65-60. Ilang puntos lang ang diferensya niya kung iba plus or minus mo. Baka wala pa sa po. Sabi nga ni Franz Romani. Limang game yun. It was a year where in two was better than three, actually. We're gonna have a full timeout now called by Nelson. And John Uchiko using that timeout back in a moment here at the Big Dome. I have sure they're thinking down the road of more than just one. They call it the first. But they might be thinking of more, as you were saying. Some more players coming up. We are hoping that, you know, then you can change some of the players. There's a lot of fresh players coming up. These two schools, like I said, they're really got to be, oh! Willie Wilson uh, hounding L.A. Tenorio said that you step out of bounds. So a great opportunity loss for the Blue Eagles there. So Andreas talking. Of course, Wilson would not do that during a regular Latino South game. Yeah, they're also good friends. Of oh. course, they play in the same uh, club. Uh, they could be moving away now. As they say, life goes on at the PBA. 220 remaining. Downstairs, the that big shot missed. Alvarez, that's the silent part of it. He has been cleaning boards playing defense. I agree. He doesn't score, but he does a lot more. So that's our last two minutes. Oh, wow. oh yes. We have to say this, but you must make money. Same on free text. Remember the signal. Pinag matindi 55 nila. But you know, you're very correct about Alvarez. The things he does. It's not in the statistics always. Uh, but here he comes up with a mistake here. He tries to drive to the basket and loses the handle. So again, we've been nailed to 84-83 here. The uh, South Cheering squad certainly is hard there. They're off. Galan. Malas ito lang sa malapitan. Or pa, this one. It's going to be on. It might be on Galan. And La Salle is in penalty. So I made free throws, but for who? Here's Walt Donald. Number is here. William Wilson. That's a Willie Wilson. That's on the line. 
Dumb with a big smile here. This is the a cappella version. Yeah, you don't have a so, for the top of let's say, we'll have an extension to it, huh? It's a vision. I mean, I don't like the... Yeah, I don't know what I think it's a hit. I don't even think about it. I don't even say I don't think they'll not complete this game, whatever happens. There he is. Whoever you are. Time, a minute and 37. Tons of basketball ahead of us. Here's oh, uh -huh. technical? No, the uh, uh, timeout called by Coach Jogi Chico. 30. 30, 30, 30 second timeout. 30 second timeout, PBA, that was And uh, it's been a festive day. Uh, both sides. This guy has been. Whew. He hasn't sat down. Yeah. I don't know why he has a seat in this place. He's not using it anyway. But he certainly is a loyal, loyal, loyal Lazarus. Maricard Dimas, of course, uh, in the audience. Just in case you don't know, he's married now to Don <laughs> Aliado. That's good. That's good. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Cortez down the box, outside. Cardona, shake, fake. We need the ball. Should have taken the shot, really. Air Polito, as the shot clock continues to run. It's down to six seconds right now. Behind the back pass, Sharma. Yes! What a big game for Carlos Sharma and a great pass by Mike Cortez. We're not going to call anything in that situation. Then. Is it a 30 or a full timeout? Full, full. full. Let's take a break and we'll be back very quickly. Just a nifty pass. And Sharma delighting in the moment, huh? Just played well all throughout. Yeah, you know, very surprisingly because people, you know, doesn't think of Sharma in the names of Aliado, Martela, the more illustrious players. But like I said, I've worked out with him. We've been working out a couple of days and I've watched Carlo. He's really gotten his confidence back. He's lost a lot of weight and he is much more mobile now than he was a couple of months ago. So that, that really works well for him. That's why his confidence is there. He's taller than Rico now. Uh, okay. Body-wise, they're almost the same, but he might be about an inch taller than Rico. I know what you mean. Yeah, but you can see that uh, Carlo is always willing to bag with Rico. Rico is willing, willing to do the same thing uh, on the other uh, side. Uh, so uh, that's, that's why that matchup has always been good. Joe Frey is asking for a possible offensive foul because he felt that there could have been a charge, but the referees thought that... Uh, I thought that they thought that it was a little bit too much of a big uh, drop there on the part of the defensive play. Was it Tenorio that fell? I didn't see. Uh, it could, if it was Tenorio, I, I, I don't argue against you at that point. Anyway, just a two-point ball game for the last Life goes on. Time. Life goes on. And it's a yeah. to play. Now that's a three-point shot. Oh, and there it goes. It goes. And finally, they take a one-point lead. Larry, he wasn't hit. That kind of shot the whole game finally has made one, and they set up that play for it. And we shall hang on to the air now. Big shot by Larry Fonacher. Well, he, he just couldn't make that the whole night. But all of a sudden, when it comes, they set up a nice play. Watch this play. Rich Alvarez goes in. Larry flashes out. The defensive man comes in late. Larry lets go. Actually, it doesn't feel like it's going to flow, but then... You know, he's blessed by God also. Dr. J, you're going to cover the billiard. That's the one that's going to be a little bit. And then, you know, you're going to be a little bit. You're going to be a little bit. You're going to be a little bit.
Ganda ng bitaw eh. Oh, anak rin ng Diyos rin kasi ito eh. Ganda ng bitaw ito eh. And this guy is a fighter. You know, he's yeah. just a... He's got a spirit. No? Hindi umi-express masyado yung quiet yan. Yeah. Very respectful. But he has his moods. Yeah. He's on the ball. Let's listen eh. Sentona. Okay, big man, big man. Double down, big. Saka mo siya, kanang kaliwa. Kaliwa. Okay. Mike, you're here. Attack it. Drive and kick. Let's go. These guys are old and gray. They'll probably still play, be playing at the Nail South Games. So now they'll look like at this one. And they can be proud of the fact that they did something good here today. And they gave the fans who came here. And right now, we don't, we don't know who's going to win oh, this we ball. We don't know. We don't know. We have, we have no idea who's going to win this ball. That's the joy of this game, of sports in general. Not Macardona back in the. Nice spin. Trapped. Uh, no way to go. Shot clock, lots of time, Dr. J. Look at Cortez. He's looking at the clock at the same time, but Tenorio sticking close to him. He know what can Cort he knows what Cortez can do. Sharma in a moment of hesitation. Oh, Knocked it in. Another Knocked big it in. basket by Sharma. Back to back big baskets by Carlo. Something tells me he's going to play a big season for you this coming uh, yeah, I, tournament. I can see the condition of that guy, and I hope he stays that way. One point lead. In the way they usually play these games, Dr. J. That's right, he did not really charge in. You can, Rico was already moving away. Rico is not going to get hit by him. And then Sharma comes in with a jump shot. And look at him get up in the air. Now that's about 245 getting <laughs> up in the air like that. <laughs> oh, but he's like lost a lot of weight. That's right. 15 points by uh, Carlos Sharma. Not bigger than the last four years. Let's listen to Chad. Here we go. Okay, this is what we're looking for. Okay, Wesley. Larry. Okay, Spins has the ball here. As soon as he gets it, first look. LA box screen. Here we go, right there. Okay. That's your first look, Rich. If it's open, if that's not open, LA come to the ball hard. Okay, at the same time, West, sabay ito ha. Pag screen niya dito, bigyan mo ng one count, pag screen for Larry. Okay, Larry goes to the corner, Wesley comes to that ball, right there, free throw line. Okay, so the first look is Enrico. Pag di ka nakakuha, Enrico, screenan mo si Larry coming off. Bigyan mo ng magandang pick. That's, yeah, your next look is Larry. If Larry is it open, Wesley's coming to the ball right there. Okay, it's not. Are the Nail players taking that moment to really uh, let it sink in? No, kung ano gusto ng Rico's shot. Your first choice is the post player, Rico. Then he has to screen off. He doesn't get the pass. He screens off for Larry. Then you have another scorer coming up to the top of the foul circle. See, uh, Wesley. Now, she break a rich role player, yeah. You drop anything, you'll be going to the basket. L.A. Tenori, as a point guard, he always has his own option. He has to read. Kumula, and he has that opening. He can get to the basket, or he can make up a long shot. He's going to come out and get that pass first, but denied. And almost denied again. Now, this is very important. People do not realize how important it is for a good inbounder. Yes, you've always said that, Dr. Jay. Nakakatakot yan eh. There are some people who just are not good inbounders. Whatever you do. Yes, Enrico. Uh, this is a different play from what they grew up. He has nowhere to go. He's clipped on the arm. Sumay Sumabe. I don't know if it's going to be Sharma because that might be good night for him. Oh, it's on the, 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 the line. Now, again, Rico is going to be tested because he's going to go to the free throw line. Three 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 his last two free throws. Rico wasn't going to give this up. Delan with his third personal foul. That's clear. That was clear. Atenel, a foul away from the penalty. And Rico delivers and ties up the ball game. When it counts, it's just like Shaq. <laughs> yeah. Shaq says, when it counts, I make my free throws. I may be a 45% free throw shooter. I make my free throws when it counts. But this is a very important one to give them a lead. And he makes both. And we have another timeout. We're gonna have a lot of timeouts. I guess so. You eh? think this game was gonna be blown away? No, I don't think so. Eh? The last time around, it's just a three-pointer that decided we'll hang on to the air again. 
and everybody's looking good. Substitution, red, red, Richwano for Matt Cardona. Back with us here, and they were talking about the foul to give, uh, I think, on the part of Ateneo. Ateneo has a foul to give, so you want to attack right away because if you miss, you can still defend and still have the ball possession coming back. If you take a lot of time and you do not score, then you have to foul the other team no? for them to stop the clock. So he finally made the decision of taking out Mac Macardona and putting in uh, Ren Ren. But, uh, Wild shot. The lad can go up, and there's a foul downstairs. Then the 15 foul of Patineo. That's right. Now there are 34.2 seconds left in the game, and there is a 20 second shot clock left for LaSalle. And, uh, LaSalle has to score on this play now because if they do not, then they have to. Cortez, is that a big shot? It's a high looper, but now they have to foul. foul. Now Gonzalez on his previous trips to the charities he split his charities he made his first and missed his second but that was a good defensive stop you know really hard for Jong to coach a team like this Joseph Yo played so well now he has not brought Joseph Yo back to the game he decided on Cardona and twice Cardona couldn't do anything for him on the two previous offensive plays so it's really harder to coach a team that's talent laden Wesley misses the first. He has never been a good free throw. That is the guy I'm talking about. Because this guy, when he takes it, he's going to take it real hard. Cortez uh, took it and uh, shied away from the defensive player. See you, Kung Pumaso. Oh, he did. Sak sak yan. Namamatay na kung ano. Wesley finally makes one. Another timeout called by the South. Blue Eagles have a two-point lead with 26.9 remaining. And I will now tell you that in case we do hit uh, tight score at the end of regulation. There will be no overtime play. That's good. <laughs> they will continue it next year. <laughs> at the same moment. Out of futuristic movie, Maybe a change in a player or two, but we will continue it. We just like to. We will now like to listen to Jungle Jigo. Yeah, we gotta get both. Same thing. Just ready to shoot, ready and willing and able, you know. Volunteer oh. Throw me there the are ball. just some players. I'll take that big shot. And at this time, if there's still a lot of time in the game, you know, nothing is safe because even if you miss, you can foul. And free throw shots are never sure for anybody. So plenty of time left in this game. That's Inbound. good. That's good. They, they took the ball away from Portet. Sharma. Plenty of time. That pick and roll. And not they that's, foul. No, they that's, foul. that's two free throws. You cannot let Mike go to the left and uh, Kenorio knew that. In my mind, I was really thinking if Coach Shot Reyes, with that timeout of LaSalle, was going to keep Tenorio in the game. Because he certainly is not a good matchup against Mike Cortez. Yes, that's an interesting... Uh, he could have used a bigger player yeah. like a JJ Chia against him. Or even an Intalan, huh? Yeah, just use anything bigger. When, when, they, when they beat LaSalle, they used Rich Alvarez against him. Yes. Because they wanted to take the ball away from the hands of Mike Cortez. And Larry's doing the right thing because Mark Macardona really gets in there. You know? Good time. Okay. Now, the last shot belongs to Ateneo. They really have nothing to lose. That's a 30-second timeout. They can move the ball from the backcourt to the frontcourt. Now, do you stay with LA or do you go with Olsen who really spark them with the rally in this comeback? So many decisions that you have to make. 
so far, Emery hasn't done anything offensive. Okay. He's just been the guy distributing. Papa, all set. Pagalo, wala na silang timeout. Yeah, all set. Ka. He's going to go to all set. He's not going to happen. Okay. Hindi sila mga kapagsap. Tayo, pwede tayo. Diba? Okay. All set is coming in for Rich. Okay. Larry, you're going to take the ball out. Okay. All set right here. En Enrico. Okay. Uh, Wesley. LA. Okay. Back screen, Olsen. Wesley comes through. Okay. Wesley to the corner. LA, back screen, Enrico. Tigil mo. Pag wala, get the ball out to Olsen. We take last shot. And these are plays that, you know, sometimes you draw on napkins and pieces yeah, yeah. of paper, you know. I didn't read his mind, though. <laughs> I just felt the close oh, yes. should be the game. Because they're going to have the last shot. The Sultan's not going to foul them early. So they're in the penalty. So you need a guy that really has the experience to hold on to the ball for the last shot. But he's not bringing out... Uh, he, he took out Rich Alvarez, yes. who's not a scorer, who's not an option. No? So he, now yes. he's kept in on the floor. Now you got to get the ball back. Also. Now you have to reduce the clock. And you can just melt it down all the way. Gonzalez wants it. Short. Short. There's going to be no overtime for us. This guy's got to be And maybe this is the way it, it should be. It was meant. <laughs> <laughs> Tied at 90. No overtime in No overtime. No overtime. Execution. The tradition has been maintained. Okay, good performance by both clubs. And... Uh, the referees did a good job. Everybody did a good job here today. And uh, it's nice to see players from both sides. Well, this is not something you see every day. Tight score. You know, the problem with that is they did not have a full time out. They had a full time out, they could have designed a better play. They were just a time out. So it was really a lot of Okay. And let's uh, do our, yes, our end game awards. PS Bank, Maasam player of the game. And uh, he's a player who exemplified all the best. Sino ba pinili mo, Dr. J? I pick two, no? One from each side. Total tabla naman tayo. Si Rico Villanueva para sa Ateneo finished with 22, 24 points. Really was a big factor for them. He also had 10 rebounds, one assist, and one steal. And, 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 and what I like about this, and the other guy on the other side is this guy. Carlo Why Sharma. not, diba? And he, he really played well. He had four very crucial points in the end game for LaSalle. He finished the ball game as the top scorer, I think, with 15 points, 7 rebounds, and 1 assist. You keep it up, both guys. Yes. You both big guys, and you played well. Played tough, played well. As most things, La Sala Tineo and the endless argument between these two sides, the question mark will remain, and we'll leave you with that. But a pleasure to work again with my compadre, Dr. J. Thank you very much, and happy Easter again to everybody. Thank you very much, sir.